Hi, I'm Dana, I'm the president of Pet Angels Rescue. Um, we started Pet Angels in year 2000, whenever I decided that this is my life's calling. We like to focus on some of the hundreds of others that maybe need a little bit more care, they need that heartworm treatment, they need time to recover from mange, a broken leg. So we like to give them a chance, because I think that's what rescue is all about, is for each and every dog, not just the ones that are easy to adopt. So these two are Astra and Atlas. So they came to us at four months old and they had been chained around their legs. You can still see the scarring on this girl here. And they're down to one toe and one paw pad each. He has the best use of his foot. We're possibly gonna do some little extra surgery and graft some paw pad tissue onto the bottom of her paw pad to give her some additional use. Um, just uh, another way of neglect. So the people didn't weren't properly set up to take care of the dogs, so they chained them up around their legs and left them for work for over 12 hours. They did take their animals to the vet that night, but then turned around and surrendered them to the pound the next day. So due to the extensiveness of their injuries, they were most likely going to be used at the shelter or the four month old puppies were going to have to have their limbs amputated um, because it was going to take multiple bandage changes and stuff in order to save their legs so as you can see they've let go of the past and they're feisty hyper pups <laughs> huh so the first dog I adopted from Pet Angels was Bella. It's been like the best three years with her. She's my best friend. Jax was about three months old when I adopted him, three or four months, and he actually came to Pet Angels as an emergency night drop at the pound because he was having seizures. The pound was actually wanting to put him down because seizures are normally related to distemper and that's not curable, and immediately called Dana and Dana was like, I will come get him. And Dana was able to get him, immediately take him to the vet. They were able to put him on IVs and fluids and kind of flush his system out, get his seizures um, controlled. They were able to rule out distemper. They were able to rule out parvo. And they were also able to rule out epilepsy, which is really, really great. Um, and so they kind of figured that he, it was mostly environmental he probably got into something. But I mean, it's those things that Dana checks to make sure. I weaned him off of his medicine and he has not had any seizures since. So when I think back of where they came from and everything that they had to endure before this, it's been amazing to see how far they've come. They entertain me all day, every day. I'm just, I'm glad that I was the one that was able to give them their forever home.